What's going on everyone? Hope you're doing well. For those of you new to my channel, I recently moved from Boston to Silicon Valley earlier this year and currently I'm living in a one bedroom, one bathroom apartment right in the heart of Cupertino, home of the spaceship aka Apple Park, aka the Apple headquarters, and where many semiconductor and computer companies were started. The monthly rent I pay is $1,680, utilities included, which is on a lower end for Silicon Valley, where the average rent is in the ballpark of $2,600 for a studio. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? But uh, why don't you come and check it out? Wow. Just kidding. If only my apartment was actually this big. All right, enough with the jokes. Let's check out my apartment. Wow. So as you probably can tell, this isn't actually an apartment, but rather an extension of my landlord's house that they built several years ago. The floor plan, however, is just like a one bedroom, one bathroom apartment, and I'm guessing that they invested a good amount of time and money on the interior design and the overall furnishing of this place. First thing I would like to draw your attention to is this door, which is handcrafted and imported all the way from Italy. The keypad and lever are made from tungsten extracted from the Los Santos mine in Spain. Tungsten, if you didn't know, has a melting point of about 3400 Celsius, so it's perfect for withstanding the blistering heat of the Silicon Valley summers. I'm just kidding. This is actually a pre-hung door with a blind sandwich between two glass panels, which is pretty cool. Right as you come in, there is a general electric washer and dryer with all of the standard wash cycles and functions. To the side is a wall-mounted coat rack with a shelf on top. The landlord installed a window on this side of the wall, which makes a huge difference during the day. Now please forgive me for talking about this door again, but I never knew these existed until moving here and they're not cheap at all. Home Depot and Lowe's sells them for about $1,100 and there's a reason why. The blinds can be opened and closed and lowered and raised via these two sliding operators, providing both privacy and lighting functioning as a window without needing to open and close the door. The biggest difference I would say between this place and a studio or one bedroom, one bathroom apartment is that it doesn't have a living room or full size kitchen. So that's why I had to buy my own electric hot plate, which is only like $35 on Amazon and this amazing electric hot pot that heats up insanely fast. It's non-stick, very compact, extremely easy to clean, and even came with this extra steamer for heating up food if you don't have a microwave. I would choose to use this over a stove and pot any day, and if you're interested, I've included the Amazon link in the description below. The kitchen comes with a ducted range hood that vents to the outside, which I did not expect at all, so all the smoke and oil actually gets sucked out of the house when you're cooking. It also comes with this Magic Chef compact fridge with a freezer section, which sits underneath the countertop. I wish it was slightly bigger, but I can't really complain when my rent is only $1,700. There's a good amount of storage with three drawers and one cabinet underneath the countertop, as well as two wall cabinets over the countertop. The kitchen sink is undermount, which makes cleaning a lot easier and is equipped with the standard German-made Hans Grohe gooseneck pull-down faucet. I'm guessing the kitchen flooring is either porcelain or ceramic tile. If we make a left here and go down this passageway, we are met by two doors. This door leads to my landlord's house, and as you can see, they have attempted to use a doorknob lockout device to keep me out, which I have broken three times already. I'm just kidding. On the ceiling here, there's this translucent looking lens, which I haven't quite figured out the official product or name of it. I assume it's for letting light into the house during the day, but I could be totally wrong. If you know what it is, let me know in the comments below. The bathroom is pretty spacious and includes all the basics, including a brushed nickel towel bar, as well as a Kohler bathtub fitted with a Hans Grohe shower head. 
There is a small window for extra ventilation and stalking my landlord while showering which is really nice. Next to the bathtub there's a towel rack and a standard total toilet with a pivoting brush nickel toilet paper holder. Like the kitchen sink, the bathroom sink is undermount with a marble countertop. Above it is a glass shelf where I keep all my makeup accessories. As you probably already noticed, there's a big frameless mirror facing the front of the sink and another smaller mirror at the side for extra visibility of the user's face. Last of course is the bedroom which is separated from the kitchen via this sliding barn door that's great for saving space compared to a traditional door that swings open. Nothing too fancy here, all the furniture in this room was already here when I moved in, including the bed, wardrobe, chair, and table, which saved me tons of money and time and I won't have to worry about selling anything when I move out. The bed is a standard queen size with a wooden frame. The wardrobe is from Ikea and features a mirrored door, adjustable shelves, and clothes rail, as well as dividers for storing uh -huh. smaller things. On this wall we have a decently sized window and I like the design of the window shutter which is split into two halves so each side can be adjusted independently. The frame opens up from the middle just like this if I need to open or close the window. My favorite thing about this room however is the sheer number of outlets on each wall. Let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six at least six outlets in this single room so i can charge all my devices without needing a power strip or ever wasting time looking for one this light switch is also pretty cool it has this digital fade dimmer that allows the brightness of the four lights up here to be controlled there's another switch at the head of the bed so i never have to get up to turn off the lights props to my landlord for making every aspect of this place ergonomic the overall experience living here has been great so far. Well, that's it. That's my apartment in Silicon Valley for $1,680. Drop me a message below and let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.